Hi Sagittarius, this is your December 2019 love and relationship reading and I just want to say happy birthday to all the Sagittarius out there that are celebrating your birthday this month. Um, okay, so let's get into your reading. Now, while I was meditating on the cards and shuffling for you, which took a long time, like it was like cards that were just falling all over the place so i had to like keep shuffling and putting them back in the deck because i couldn't take like 20 cards that were falling out of the deck so i felt like your reading was extremely um busy and i'm feeling like it was busy because there is a lot of things that are going on in your love life sagittarius some of you could be dealing with third party situations okay but you're learning to get over it or you have learned to move past something you may not be all the way over it but i feel like you've been putting in a lot of um energy to like get yourself through something and i'm looking over your cards and i'm seeing that somebody may be trying to come back to you and i don't know if you're gonna let them back because you've done so much work to sort of fix yourself um evolve and and grow i just feel like some of you may have done some spiritual work and you had to because i feel like when someone walked away from you it may have hurt you like really bad and it took a lot for you to get over this person and you may not be over them all the way yet but i feel like you know the work is in progress that you're doing to move yourself forward all right, so the first card that we have here is anger. Let me just fix my lighting. I'm sorry. Oh, this lighting is really bad. I apologize, Sagittarius. Give me one moment. I just want you to be able to see the card and what it's saying. Okay, I'll read it. That's fine. Um, sorry if you can't really see it and it's not that clear because it's in white writing up here. It's a little clearer down here. All right, so this card is anger. It says anger may reside within or they may be dealing with issues right now or an imbalance. Her sword is drawn, ready to strike again if she must. The dry blood and the view to heat off anyone who gets too close right now. All right, so I feel like you're still angry about whatever this person did to you. I feel like somebody may have walked away from you or they may have promised you something and they didn't deliver. Um, you could have caught this person doing something. And you're still angry about it, but also still doing the work, the necessary spiritual work on yourself to help you heal and move past this situation. Yeah, because see, you have guarded here as well. Um, walls of defense is the meaning of this card. They may be dealing. I'm sorry, I can't see these words really clear. They may be dealing with something personal that leaves them guarded, cautious and feeling the need to retract and keep themselves safe. We all feel this way at some time in our lives, be it from old fears or past hurt that have impacted us in the present. So you're very guarded right now. But just looking over your cards, I feel like somebody is trying to come back in or somebody wants to come back in. But we'll see what comes out when we get into your reading. But, you know, if this person tries to come back in, if an ex tries to come back in, I feel like you're going to be very guarded. I don't know how this situation is going to work out for you. Um, I feel like there's trust issues here with someone that you were dealing with. And you're not going to be happy to see this person again. OK, you may. Well, you may be. I don't want to say you're not going to be happy to see them again, but it's like if they came back and they've changed and they've done some work on themselves then fine. But if not, then no, you're not going to be happy to see this person because I feel like you're still sort of um, healing from the hurt that they cause. So you're not quite over it yet. It's still there. And then we have deception. Someone is not being honest and something is not as the, as it seems. There is a deception happening with your partner or a close friend or that someone could be you. Could it be that you or someone else is lying to yourself and those around you? It might not be a deliberate deception, but it is a deception nonetheless. So I feel like someone cheated. Okay, and if they didn't cheat, they lied about something. And also, I was getting the message from Spirit when I was shuffling the cards that this person is, you know, they continuously lie about things. And you're like, okay, I can't trust you. There's no way we can have anything together if I'm constantly worried about what you're doing when you're not in front of me. Okay, what are you doing behind my back? I feel like some of you, you love this person a lot, but you're just tired of worrying about who they're with, what they're doing 
are they being honest you know when they tell you something is it the truth do you have to look into it to make sure you're not being played like i feel like that's what you're sick and tired of dealing with all right so you have past love here you have third party intrusion and you have commitment yes yeah, somebody's coming back they want a commitment i'm telling you they're going to come back for a commitment maybe something didn't go their way we have past love. A past love connection may be re-entering your life. You feel familiar around each other. Possibly a connection to a past life or a past tie in this life you have exchanged feelings with before. So basically this card is saying you have been with this person before. This is not someone new. I feel like the person who's coming back, you had a lot of feelings for them and they hurt you deeply. They walked away. Someone could have ghosted you or they just could have ended a situation with you know just to be with someone else because we have third party intrusion here there is another person acting on their own behalf to try and control a outcome in their favor be aware you know what this card is also telling me sagittarius that somebody your partner is dealing with they deliberately came in between you guys is what i'm getting from the cards that are coming out they they knew you guys had a relationship or they knew you guys were married or something and they just came in between you guys um even having found out about you that that still didn't stop them okay and you see how this person is holding the scissors in their hand like yeah i i'm aware that he has um, a partner or i'm aware that she has a partner but i'm still going to come in between them that's what i'm getting with this card but then we have commitment your relationship may be changing to a new level. This card is not about marriage, but unions of all kinds, commitment, engagement, um, marriage, something that is binding or is, I'm sorry, or as simple as a promise. Vows are much more than a ceremony, a handshake. Your given honor of your word is an intention, a vow to do something. This card is about a new level of change in all the many forms that a commitment falls under. So I feel like, let me just, say something really quickly because the way the cards came out here someone either cheated on you or they lied about something it involved a third party situation i feel like this third party knew i don't feel like you're a secret to this person at all sagittarius but something may not be working out with your ex and this partner that they chose over you because we have commitment here twice sorry about that we have commitment here twice we have past love and commitment so even though there was some deception and they walked away from you for a third party i feel like they're going to try and come back this person may be wanting to come back let's just get into your reading and let's see what's going on here i'm going to put these cards over to the side in case we need to refer back to them but i'm feeling like somebody wants to come back or someone is trying or thinking about you or wishing they hadn't yeah because you had two jumping cards here you had the magician in reverse and you have the four of cups so someone may feel like they have a they're gonna have a missed opportunity here but with the magician card in the reverse some of you could be dealing with um a gemini could have been dealing with the gemini but with this major arcana here being reversed this person was very manipulative okay they were a trickster i feel like they were just behind your back doing all types of shit saying all types of things you know just not being true and not being honest and now the person that they are with they are not satisfied with that person look how she's holding that cup offering them love and they're like i'm still not happy <laughs> they're still not happy after walking away from you causing you hurt and pain and heartbreak they walk towards someone else but they're still not happy with this person also, I'm getting messages from Spirit that if this person tries, if your ex tries to come back towards you, whoever this person is, they're going to cause problems because they're still offering a cup. They're still offering emotions and love and they're wondering why they can't make him happy. They're like, okay, you already walked away from her or you already walked away from him. Why are you not happy with me? Look at me. I'm here over here <laughs> offering you this cup, but your ex, I feel like they want you back because this third party situation they're not even focused on it it's like they're feeling like they missed the opportunity with you i feel like you guys may have had an argument with somebody um not somebody with your partner and you know maybe you guys had an exchange of words and maybe somebody's sitting in their ego 
but your ex is not happy where, where they are okay even if they walked away even if they said it was over they're not happy all right so let's see what else comes out so you have the eight of cups you have the death card here. Something definitely ended here. And you have the five of pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We have Scorpio here. So definitely Scorpio for some of you. And then we have earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. With this eight of cups, I feel like someone walked away from you. Okay? And now they're regretting walking away. They're not happy. They ended it. And they thought they were getting the change and the transformation that they were looking for. But look at the Five of Pentacles. They left you out in the cold. But now I'm feeling like they're not even happy. Why is like they're not happy with what they had? So we have the Three of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Nine of Swords. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, such as yourself, uh, Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius. And we also have air here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, with this three of wands, I feel like you were patiently, when this person first walked away from you, Sagittarius, and if this is not you feeling this way, this could be your partner if they're cross-watching, okay? So um, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with each and every Sagittarius out there. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, but with this three of wands, I feel like you were patiently waiting on someone when they first walked away from you. Okay, you were so heartbroken that you were waiting, just I don't know, like checking your text messages, you know, waiting by the phone, uh, checking your DMs, trying to, you know, make sure you don't miss a call or a message from this person. And it was a burden. It was tiresome. It was really heavy energy. I feel like you cried a lot. Um, some of you, you could, you could have like, you know, your appetite could have suffered behind this person. Because we also have the nine of swords here, which is fear, worry, and anxiety. So some of you were feeling like you would never hear from this person again. But I don't feel like that's the case because I don't. Your ex is not happy. So somebody is definitely gonna come back. Some of you could have been dealing with a um. A masculine cancer pisces scorpio okay yes yeah, so we have the six of cups in reverse they wow they left you i feel like they were already dealing with this person or they known this person before this what this person wasn't new it's like they didn't go out and meet and some meet somebody new sagittarius they knew this person but the six of cups is coming up in reverse along with the five of cups yeah they have regrets okay so your ex have regrets right now, okay? Like there is no more guessing over this reading or anything. Like I'm sitting here trying to figure out like, well, what is going on? No. The king, if you were dealing with a water sign, masculine, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and you're feminine, if you were dealing with this king of cups, he's not happy. He chose someone over you and he is not happy. Not happy about the situation at all. Matter of fact, with the five of cups here, He's regretful, he's sorry, and he's wishing he could come back. But I feel like he may be sitting in his pride and his ego. And he doesn't know how to come back to you and tell you that this shit didn't work out. <laughs> it didn't. With the Six of Cups in reverse. I feel like he caused you a lot of hurt and pain. And now he's feeling sort of stupid and foolish because he chose this person over you. And he's either bored with this person, the sex isn't good, or maybe he's just like, you know what? Like, he's probably looking around at the situation like, I'm, I, this isn't for me. I'm feeling like whoever he walked away to, this person could have a, like a lot of drama in their life. It could be family drama, drama with friends. Um, it's just always something going on. They could have like another, they could have a child by someone else. And this, I feel like this King of Cups is having to deal with that because he looks really sad. <laughs> He looks really sad. Like, I feel like he's having to deal with this Six of Cups drama, the person he left you for. And he's looking at the situation like, this is some BS. Like, I didn't sign up for this. But, oh, you did. You signed up for it. You signed up for it with this magician in reverse. <laughs> okay? And I'm not laughing at your situation. I'm laughing at your ex because they're not happy. They walked away from you. They was on some BS. I feel like you tried to get this person to work with you you tried to get them to love you you did everything you could to get them to stay in this relationship with you 
okay you did everything you could without compromising your integrity without compromising your self-respect and they still walked away they were still playing games they were a trickster they were lying they were conniving you know they were doing all this stuff to you and look at them now this is how they look let me put this card the five of cups and the four of cups this is how they look now they're sad they're sad like they don't they're not happy in this situation all right so we have the two of cups we have the full card in reverse yeah they're realizing they made a, fo a foolish choice and look at that the two of wands yeah see they're now they're they're still like if they were happy with this other person sagittarius there would be no need for the two of wands to be showing up here because there would be no decision for them to make they would be happy where they are and confined they would be confined in their situation and happy they're not though they feel like they made a foolish choice the fool card is in reverse they took a leap of faith they took a risk and it winds up not working out for them and now they're missing you they feel like you're their soulmate you're their two of cups you made them happy there you know what i'm feeling like some of them are thinking like damn we just had an argument like it wasn't that deep i made more out of it than it was or they may have felt like you made more out of it than it was and then they call themselves you know being in their ego and in their pride and they walked away like you know what it's over and you know now they're gonna have to come back because they're coming back they are definitely coming back they know they hurt you too they realize with the five of swords they're realizing that they really caused you some pain we have the two of swords here yeah see they were trying to decide between you and this other person and i feel like they chose this other person over you but now they don't want the other person the other person is sitting there like hello what about me and now they're like ignoring them yeah so we have the ace of cups here new beginnings okay so i feel like there's going to be a new beginning between you and this person but the thing about it is you know, you have to think about this, Sagittarius. Do you even want this person back? Because for one, you can't trust them. And for two, we have to go, well, not we, but you have to go back to what started this argument or what started this breakup, which was whatever that was, if it was a commitment that they weren't giving you, if it was they were all over the place, if they were dealing with a lot of people, like that's something that you guys are going to have to fix. So I'm feeling like even if this person comes back to you, there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. But somebody is realizing, sorry about that, I just kicked the camera. Somebody is realizing that they should not have walked away from you because they thought they were going to be happy and they're not happy. They're just in like the midst of a lot of drama, it seems like to me. Yeah, they want, they're hoping to have stability with you again with this four of wands. Some of you could be dealing with another fire sign. There's a lot of fire and there's a lot of water in this reading. There's air too, but there's a, like a lot of fire. So some of you could be dealing with other fire signs um, or water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, see, they know with this tower, like the four of wands, the tower, and the temperance, they want stability with you again they want a balanced situation they're feeling like even though you guys didn't get along that good it wasn't that bad i feel like they've had time to think about what you guys went through and being with this other person really opened up their eyes sagittarius and they're thinking like well dang i should have just stayed where i was because now i'm realizing it just, it wasn't that bad um, you know opposed to what they're going through now or what what you know like, I feel like whatever they're going through now, crumble and fallen. It's not stable at all. They feel like the stability was with you, with this four of wands. And now they're realizing it. And sometimes, Sagittarius, it takes for someone to separate themselves from the situation to be able to look at it with a fresh set of eyes. To see, like, you know, that grass ain't always greener on the other side like they think it is. And it's not with the tower here. Yes, yeah, so we have the world card in reverse. We have the higher fence. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. And we have the chariot. We also have cancer here. But um, if you're not dealing with either one of those signs, this is not over between you and this partner. It's only a matter of time before they come back. Okay, for some of you, I'm here in summertime. Okay, maybe late May, early June for some of you out there. Um, but the thing about it is, 
you know, even if this person is not a Taurus, because this is a Taurus card, but this card is also about commitment. But see, you got it in the reverse. So maybe this person had commitment issues and that's what caused this breakup. Because I feel like for some of you, you know, you weren't going to settle for less. And that may have caused you and this person to butt heads a lot. Okay, I feel like you guys weren't seeing it. I feel like the love was there, but it was like, okay, so if you love me, then commit to me because you can't be in my face telling me you love me, but you're not really ready to commit. Then, I mean, you can, you can, let me, okay. So let me just say this, because I know people are like, no, you can love somebody and not commit. And that's true. You can love someone and not commit to them, right? But I'm feeling like your partner, for some of you, they were in your face telling you how much they love you, how much they want to be with you, and, you know, they were going to do this, and you, you guys were going to do that. And then it's like their actions did not align with their words. So it's like they were telling you one thing, and then they were doing another. So it wasn't like they were telling you, I, you know, I don't love you, and I just want to be friends. Because then you would have known how to react to that situation. I feel like they were telling you that they did love you, and that they did want something solid with you. But then their actions was showing you something different. They were cheating. They were dealing with, you know, someone else. You know, sometimes this person wasn't calling you, or they would call you one day. And I'm feeling like the next three or four days, you wouldn't hear from them. And you're like, what the hell? Like, we only talk on Mondays? <laughs> like, seriously. Like, that's the messages that I'm getting from Spirit. Like, this person just took you through a lot of crap. And then I feel like they would come back. They wouldn't explain where they were, what they were doing. They couldn't answer your questions. You know, you were seeing things. For some of you, I feel like you were seeing things on social media and you were questioning it. I just feel like this person was all over the place. And now they want to come back because they see that that person they left you for for was not it it was not it for them but still like the problem still remained that you guys went through so that's what's going to have to be fixed here and the reason why i say that is because i'm looking at three cards in the reverse which are major arcanas okay so you can't change this energy this is the energy of the universe so the world card is in reverse which is cycles that have not ended the hierophant is in the reverse which is the energy of someone who doesn't want to conform to the rules and regulations of a committed situation and the chariot is in the reverse which is something that's not moving forward so even though this person is coming back and the cycle between you guys you know isn't over I don't know how you guys are going to move this forward if you guys are still butting heads about this hierophant situation, about this commitment, about being traditional, about the rules and regulations that you've set for yourself. Because I feel like some of you have set rules for yourself. Like, you know, this is what I want in my life. I, I want a commitment. I want someone I can depend on. I want a family. And then this other person, they may ha feel differently. They may not be there just yet they know that they miss you and they they still love you and this situation that they left you for ain't it they know that but you still have to deal with the situation of will this person commit to you even though this isn't working out are they ready to commit so that's why i'm saying like even though they're coming back i just feel like there's a lot of work that needs to be done when this person comes back okay so those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, Sagittarius. I just want to say thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading this month. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on Instant Go. So if you have a question, you can reach out to me there. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.